Hey, and thanks for stopping by to check out our latest video about the top neighborhoods in the city of Salem. If this is your first time to our channel or you find value in this content, please make sure you like and subscribe. We've helped hundreds of people move to and within the Roanoke Valley. We love raising our family in this area and we'd be honored to help you find your home here today. All right, so let's tell them all about the great community called Salem, Virginia. <laughs> It is a city within itself and really neat place to live. It's got a small town charm, a really robust sports scene mm -hmm. and highly rated school. So that's one reason why a lot of our clients want to choose City of Salem um, to put down their roots and really establish themselves here. It's got this great community feel mm -hmm. and they seem to really rally together and support each other. So we've actually done another video on Salem neighborhoods. There's a lot of neighborhoods to choose from here. There are absolutely, yeah. And you get the Main Street feel here, right? Mm -hmm. It's like I always say like Norman Rockwell S for whatever reason, I keep saying that, but it's like, You've got, you've got a few shops, you've got dining, you've got the public library, it's walkable, right. that type of thing. So it's really quaint and charming uh, from that perspective. And if you want a place to call home right there close to downtown Salem, mm -hmm. you could choose Langhorne Place, right? Right, there's quite a few little areas right around there. And you've got the college too. So Reno College is a big influence here. But here's seven neighborhoods that you're gonna wanna explore. Okay, so I mentioned Langhorne Place. However, we didn't give you the details about it, which you might want if you're considering moving to the city of Salem. <laughs> I really think this is an attractive place to live because it is adjacent to downtown. Super walkable and I think it's one of the best because you get a front row seat for all the parades and great trick-or-treating in that area. I was going to say, it is the mecca in Salem <laughs> for trick-or-treating for sure. So if you don't want trick-or-treaters and you don't like Halloween, you might not want to live on Langhorne Place, to be honest with you, right. back in there. But just imagine being able to walk down to the library or the brewery or the coffee shop. That's what Langhorne Place is really going to offer you, in addition to the fact that it abuts the Salem Municipal Golf Course. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get this beautiful view, lots mm -hmm. of deer, running around there too so it's pretty yeah so you get nature inside the city right and i mean what more could you ask for right <laughs> and, and you've got multiple styles of homes right so if you're looking for a specific style of home there then you're going to be able to find some options uh you're going to have colonials you're going to have some ranches and that's a couple split four years there as well but uh definitely good options there whether you need something small or large to be honest with you and it tends to be pretty family friendly from what our clients have told us those that have settled in the area. Yeah. And then price point wise, you know, it depends on which house that you find, but you're looking generally between three hundred to six hundred thousand dollars. So not too far from Langhorn Place on the north side of Main Street as well is going to be Stonegate Community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a really neat area as well. You're going to find multiple styles of homes here and it's close to the downtown as well as the golf course again. But what's unique about this area is they have the swim and tennis club. So I can just imagine that in the summer, just being bustling and full of activity and just a neat really place for the community to gather. Yeah, and just so you know, that's not included just because you buy a house in Stonegate. Right. Doesn't mean you get access to the swim and tennis club. No. That is an additional fee, but you know, super, super, quick, easy access to it. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna feel like you're um, outside of the city just a little bit. You're gonna have super close to the amenities. You're not gonna feel like you're in downtown Salem per se. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Prices in this area are going to range from about 300 to 700,000. So let's move outside of city center Salem proper and go to the more suburban area on the mm -hmm. south side of town called Karen Hills. Right, so this is considered, like you said, South Salem. And what I like about Karen Hills is that it's really close in proximity to a lot of greenways, and it gives you that suburban feel if that's what you're looking for. You know, I envision like children playing across the street from one another, neighbors helping neighbors, taking cookies and things to each other, a lot of some cul-de-sacs and things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But being near the greenway also means you're near the river. So this is a perfect opportunity for hiking, Biking, biking, rollerblading, fishing, lots of outdoor recreational opportunities. And yeah, it's just a fun little, it's a fun area. I yeah, like and I think people rave about uh, South Salem Elementary School there, so right. it feeds, in, feeds into that. So, you know, from that perspective, uh, your young ones are going to be able to go to the South Salem Elementary School. And then for housing styles, you're going to see ranch, 
traditional style homes, you're gonna see colonial split four years, those types of things which we see throughout the Roanoke Valley, right? right? But you are gonna see those here in Karen Hills. And price points are gonna be anywhere from $200,000 up to the $400,000 marks for where you're gonna be when it comes to pricing for your houses in Karen Hills. So let's give you some intel on one of our favorite spots in the city of Salem, which is right around uh, the Roanoke College itself because mm -hmm. there are some grand historic homes there, right? They're beautiful. I mean, I love driving that area even around the holiday times mm -hmm. when everything's lit up and decorated it's exceptionally beautiful but yeah these homes have for the most part been renovated and preserved so that they look really beautiful all surrounding that Roanoke College area you've got a lot of homes to choose from and you've got the walkability right downtown you can engage in some of the college activities mm -hmm. But also, there's so much going on right there in the heart of downtown. We've talked about the breweries, the coffee shop, the library, but you also have Fridays after five. That's an event. You've got the farmer's market, which is active. So you're right in the pulse in the heart of things. Yeah, and these homes, you know, they're gonna, you've got some that are not as grand and historic that might be in the lower 200s. Those are a dime a dozen, to be honest. I'm not a dime a dozen. Th those are a needle in a haystack, to be honest with you. Sorry yes. about that. And then you've got some that are gonna be like a million dollars plus because they are right. grand. They have been renovated. They've got amazing molding on the inside, high ceilings, and architectural detail that a lot of people are looking for when they're looking to move to the Roanoke Valley in general. All right, let's take you to another grand area on the south side of Salem, which is going to be Wedgwood Forest and Fairway Forest. Those two neighborhoods are going to be a place for you to check out. Mm -hmm. You definitely want to check this out because it's adjacent to Hidden Valley Country Club. And this is a luxurious cl country club that has golf course, tennis courts, pool, and dining. So yeah, it has it all. And they just underwent a huge renovation over the last couple of years too. Really? Yeah. Wow. All I remember is seeing the 4th of July fireworks. Uh -huh. You can see those at the country club. And also the golf course has some hills to it. It I mean, does. It, it may be a challenging course to play. I've well, I mean, it. we are in the mountains, so it is different golf than most people are used to. I can tell you, mm -hmm. like, it's way different than Myrtle Beach golf. It's way different than Florida golf because it's not as flat. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just yeah. another you layer. Your trajectory. Right. Another a layer of challenge, right? That's right. For yeah. you. But Hidden Valley Country Club's great. So that you can imagine that some of the homes get that golf course view. And mm -hmm. even if you don't, you're pretty close to it if that is something that you're interested in. They have a lot of sprawling ranches and larger, more spacious homes in this area. Sometimes you can find some larger lots as well. Yeah, and these homes here, like they actually have a lot of architectural detail, mm -hmm. that type of thing to them because they're not your traditional cookie cutter builder grade homes, to be honest with you. So mm -hmm. definitely a spot to check out. You're super close to the Lewis Gale Medical Center, so mm -hmm. easy access to great medical care. And then if you're looking at price points, you're going to look anywhere from like the 400000 up to almost $700,000 for homes here, depending upon location, golf course view, that type of thing, and the size of the home, of course. Okay, we're going to take you in a little bit different direction this time. We're going to go west to the far west down to the city limits and talk about Beverly Heights. Beverly Heights is a really neat little area. I think it's got this great mountain view as you're driving up some of the lanes. And it's got a, just a variety of homes. I know you may be tired of us saying that, but that's what I like about Roanoke is that the houses are all different. You can find your colonial homes, your traditional two stories, split levels, lots and lots of ranches in this area too. And there's even a cute little neighborhood park right there in Beverly Heights. So I think that's just really sweet. <laughs> yeah, and, and you're not too far from Green Hill Park. Mm -hmm. So and at Green Hill, you've right. got access to the river, you've got um, walkways there, you've got ball fields, park. you've got playground, yeah. actual park itself where there's Highland Games, there's a kite festival, mm -hmm. there's touch a truck so the kids get to go out and touch the fire truck and the big like um, bucket trucks, the bucket yeah. trucks, you yeah. name it, all sorts of big trucks, That's fine. they can touch them. <laughs> <laughs> so Green Hill Park is definitely an amenity but also in this neighborhood it's got that subdivision feel, it's walkable, it's got wider streets. I, I notice that that's very wide yeah but, um, well and that's a good thing because yes. there's not any sidewalks you know we've got some yeah. neighborhoods around here that do have sidewalks some that don't and those that don't you're hopeful that they have the wide streets like mm -hmm. Beverly Heights does so you can walk 
feeling unencumbered and feeling safe. Yes. <laughs> prices are a little more reasonable in this area too. You're going to see prices ranging from about 200 to the mid 300s. So let's give you another popular subdivision uh, or neighborhood within the city of St. Elmo. That's going to be West Club Forest. You know, it's hard to really pull out favorites here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to explore and every little community has its own feel to it but the residents here really love this area because because of that tight-knit community feel and it's a really quiet neighborhood yeah and you know after a long day at work if you're not working at home you're working out in the community somewhere you want to come home and you don't want to have like a whole lot of noise right i sure wouldn't so just relax in the backyard that's yeah. right yeah because <laughs> we sold a couple of houses over here and like the backyards yes. and the back and the screen porches are just to die for on that front just so you can just lay back and relax at your home sweet home. Mm -hmm. And again, variety of homes, but ranches, colonials, and pricing is going to be 200s to low to mid 300s. So you should be able to find a great house in that area for a relatively lower price. So no matter what style of home you're looking for, no matter what budget you're looking for in the city of Salem, you're going to be able to find it. Contact us today, we'll help you out. Let's get you home.